This is the PV Machine Project, a short little assignment used to start soldering surface mount technology, or SMT, and get back into submitting our reports and videos. This simple device is used for supplying power to a breadboard uh, from a DC barrel jack and features a SMB power LED and an SMT resistor. I soldered the SMT uh, LED with a regular soldering iron and the resistor with a hot air gun and solder paste. To further refine my SMT soldering skills and to mitigate voltage spikes, I added on a combination of SMT capacitors and a through hole capacitor uh, between the power rails. The circuit that the PV machine is powering converts a square wave produced by a 555 timer into a sine wave using three RC pairs. The frequency of the square wave was chosen to be 1 uh, Hz for better visualization, which requires certain resistors and capacitors to be chosen according to this formula. Looking at the waveforms produced by these RC pairs in an oscilloscope, we first see a nice looking square wave from the 555 timer. When this square wave is filtered through the first RC pair, it changes to a wave that represents the charging and discharging of the capacitor. This wave is then filtered through the second RC pair producing a triangle wave, which is then filtered through the last RC pair producing somewhat of a sine wave with some jumps, uh, which I'm not sure yet of why uh, those jumps occur. You may have also noticed that these waves get smaller and smaller for each RC pair that the signal is filtered through. This is because the capacitors in each stage are running out of time to fully charge due to the speed of the square wave frequency. As you can see, if I increase the frequency, the waves diminish in magnitude, whereas decreasing the frequency does the opposite and increases the magnitude. This is true for every stage except for the square wave produced by the 555 timer.